Hello everyone and welcome. Do you guys like coffee? Well, I sure do. I drink several cups of coffee during the day, as I'm sure you can tell. So my old coffee maker is getting a little tired, and instead of getting another regular coffee maker, I decided to try something a little different this time. See, my wife likes to drink the flavored coffees, and she likes using those K-capsules at her work. So she's been bugging me for the longest time about getting her one of those expensive Keurig machines. Now I ask you, what am I supposed to do? Have two coffee makers on the counter, one for regular coffee and one for K-Pods? No, that's just way too much clutter and too expensive. So being the smart bargain hunter that I am, I decided to look for a coffee maker that could tackle both jobs in one machine. That's why I got this two-in-one coffee maker from Tastyle. This guy can brew the K-capsules and it also brews regular coffee, so that problem was solved. It also sells for half the price of what the Keurig would cost me, so that problem was solved. So let's take a look at this guy and see what it can do. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here is a shot of the box for you. Let me open it up and we'll get right back to this guy. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the 2-in-1 single serve coffee maker from Tastyle, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $49.99, but they do have a 5% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And as always, if I find more coupons, I'll be sure to put it in the description down below, so check that out first so you can save even more money. Now, I know I'm shooting this at a little bit of a weird angle right now. Do not worry, I will move it around later, but right now, let's just go over some of the specs of the unit and so forth, and then we'll delve in a little deeper. Anyway, so when you unbox this puppy, this is what you get. You get the coffee maker itself. You get a nice little drip tray with a stainless steel cover. That way, if you drip any coffee or anything, this goes down here at the bottom. You can just pull it out, clean up, and put it back. No mess, no fuss. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, how to set it up, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through it. You get a ground coffee holder, container, whatever you want to call it. This is where you put your ground coffee in because this unit does accept regular ground coffee. Just put it in there. It does have a max level indicator. Pop it in there, close it up, put it in the machine, and you can brew just about anything you want, including tea. So you can put that in there as well. And then you have the container here for the K-capsule, K-pod, whatever you want to call those. You put them in there. If you're going to use those instead, pop it in the machine and you can make those K-pods, K-capsules, whatever you want to call them. And then you get three bags of decalcification solution for cleaning up the machine. The machine will tell you when to clean it. I'll go over that in a bit. But you get three bags so you can take care of keeping it nice and clean for a good long time. And if you need more down the road, you can always buy more. Anyway, so the dimensions on this machine are 12 inches in height, 8 inches in depth, and 6 and a half inches in width. So it's big enough to hold just about anything, but not so big that it's bothersome on your countertop. The machine only weighs 1.4 pounds. The warranty on this unit is one year. Any trouble whatsoever, contact the seller. They'll take care of you. And I happen to get this machine in black, but it does come in three different colors. You can get it in black, red, or green. This is a nice, colorful, beautiful machine in black and stainless steel, which matches the existing appliances in my kitchen. Now, this machine can make up to a maximum of 14 ounces of coffee, which is big enough for most travel mugs, including the largest travel mugs. I mean, right here, you can put a very large travel mug right there, as we'll look at a little later, because my wife likes to use those when she's going to work. Now, this is a two-in-one coffee maker, like I said before, that works with the K-Pods or regular ground coffee, and it also works with tea. You can put tea in there as well, like I mentioned. So even though they call it a two-in-one, I think they should call it a three-in-one, because you can do three different things in one machine. Now, the lid on this unit has a nice little control on here that you push to open it up, and it opens up 90 degrees, so it's out of your way. So you can see right there, it opens up a full 90 degrees, so it's out of your way, and you can put the containers or whatever in there without having to hassle with it too much. And it snaps shut, so it's nice and secure, no problem with water or anything spilling out of there. Back here is where you put the water, and that opens up, and it does have a convenient little measuring device back here, if I can get it out of here. There you go. And I don't know if you can see on the camera because of the lighting and so forth, but it does have 
incremental markings on the inside there where it'll tell you how much water you're putting in. So if you have like a bottle of water or something like that and you don't know exactly how much water you're pouring in for the coffee that you're going to make, you know right there by getting up to the certain level exactly how much you need to put in there and then you know what you're going to get out the other end. So that's very convenient right there. And that goes in right there where the water is and it has a nice little screen to filter out any impurities. So that's very convenient. Now the machine has a setting right here where you can select to use it in either regular or bold. So you can select regular coffee or bold for whatever mood you're in at that given time. And it can produce a cup of coffee really fast. It can produce up to six ounces of coffee in three minutes according to the manufacturer which is a lot quicker than my current machine because I'm getting really tired of having to wait around for mine because it'll brew coffee anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes, which is really tiresome just having to wait for that. The coffee on this machine comes out at a nice, convenient, comfortable 185 degrees Fahrenheit every time, which is, again, better than my tired old machine because my tired machine sometimes comes out too hot, sometimes too cold. That's a sign right there that that one is failing, so I needed to replace it. It also has a cleaning or descaling reminder where the buttons right here will turn red and tell you that it's time for descaling. That's what you use these little packets for. And all you do is basically hold down the two buttons for about three seconds, I think it is, and it'll go into the cleaning mode and it'll clean itself up and that way you don't have anything to worry about. With my current machine, I have no idea when to clean it. A lot of the machines out there, they don't tell you when it's time to clean it. You just have to guess. So a lot of times, I don't know, should I clean it, shouldn't I? This one tells me right there, so I don't need to worry about it. So I'm excited to try this guy out because I think this is an ideal size for your countertop. Doesn't take up a lot of room and it tackles the job that most folks want, whether it's making coffee, tea, or the K-Pods coffee. Now, my current machine is your standard 12-cup machine that takes up a lot of room on my countertop. The funny thing is that I never brew an entire pot of coffee. I find that the coffee always tastes burns when it sits around for too long. So I'm always brewing just one cup of coffee at a time. So a one cup machine is a smart way to go this time. So let's try this guy out and see how it performs. All right guys, so if you want a comparison of what the new taste style machine looks like compared to a regular standard full size coffee maker, there you have a side by side comparison. You have the taste style on one side looking nice and stylish and very new and fancy. And on the other side, you have the old looking Monsieur Coffe looking a little bit tired out and needing some replacement. So there you see what the two look like. This one will take up a lot less room on my countertop. So that looks very nice right there. All right. So I promised to give you a better look at the unit, how it looks like from all angles. And we can see it much better right now the way I have it set up. And here are the two containers that come with it. This is for the K capsules, K pods. And then this one is for your regular coffee or tea, whatever you want to put in there. Ground coffee, any kind, make your own, put it in there and you're ready to go. And this is what the machine looks like. And you can see from the front and you see it from the side. You have the two buttons to work with right there. Very simple operation, not much to do right there. Very clean and plain on the back there. And on the top here, you put in the water. And then over here, you put in your coffee, etc. And like you see, you have your nice stainless steel drip tray right there. And that's it from the other side right there. So that gives you a full look of what the machine looks like when you're using it. And if you want to see what size containers you could put in there for your coffee, well, you can put just about anything. Let's take your standard mug. You put it in there and you can brew your coffee. Let's try something a little different. Well, you want one of the smaller mugs. There you go. A small travel mug. You can pop that in there. No trouble at all. You want a bigger travel mug. There you go. That's a very nice big travel mug right there it fits perfectly or if you want something humongous look at this big one right there it still fits without any trouble at all so there you go you can put a lot of different size containers in there and you'll be taken care of all right guys so i'm sure you guys are wondering can this machine brew some coffee well let's find out so i have the little ground coffee container filled up right there filled it up to the max line with regular ground coffee i'll put that in let's put some water in it and see how it performs so I have some regular water, just pour it into the back here. There you go, pour the water from my mug, put this in the front, just pops right open, pop this little guy in here, close it up, put the mug on there and we hit the bold button and let's watch it go.
All right, guys, there you have it. It turned off, meaning that it is done. It is completed. So right there, we have a complete cup of coffee ready to go in your mug. I know you probably can't see it because it's down in there, but I don't want to spill it all over the place. But that is nice and hot coffee right there, ready to go. Very nice. And no mess. Like you saw, there was no splatter, no mess, no anything at all, where a lot of modern coffee makers do make a mess. I know mine does. So that's very nice right there. And you never have to worry about the bottom being hot and burning you because it doesn't heat up. So that's very convenient. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Taystyle 2-in-1 coffee maker. This one machine solved both my problems in one compact and attractive design. It solved my problem of replacing my old broken down coffee maker. And it also solves the problem of getting that expensive Keurig machine that my wife wanted to use for the K-Pods. I think this is a great little machine for people that want to use both ground coffee, K-Pods, and tea all in one machine. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.